Man's body pulled from the Charles River in Cambridge. Witnesses say they saw the man struggling and quickly called for help, but sadly he couldn't be saved, as WBZ's Lisa Greshi shows us. The two people who tried to rescue the man borrowed a small boat like this one with hopes of getting to him before it was too late. Anna, you saw him at the, maybe at the, just when we launched. I mean, that was the last time that, that we saw him. Hannah Cashin and Rob Carey, two strangers, before spotting the man struggling in the Charles River just before 11 this morning. Realizing every second counted, they hopped in a boat, ripping it free. Uh, they're a full fleet of these things. Then we took, uh, took it, that one over. We didn't have an oar, so we used our hands on either side. Unfortunately, the man went under. And then when we got there, there weren't even any bubbles. They watched as Cambridge Fire, State Police, and Boston Fire took over. And more than two hours later, divers recovered the man's body by the railroad tracks that cross under the BU Bridge. At first, you hope it's to, to save somebody, but then it, after a while, it does become, you, you know, you're going to be there for recovery. There's very, very little visibility. Uh, so it is really difficult that way, I would say. First responders giving credit to the two witnesses for ultimately leading them to the right place by boat, despite the outcome. Unless you have some specialized training, that's probably the best thing to do. Because you know, then you, you end up becoming a victim yourself. Upset with myself for not figuring out what was going on sooner, but I just didn't realize what was going on and then didn't think fast enough. So I feel really bad about that. Right now, police are still investigating why the man was in the water in the first place. Reporting in Boston, Lisa Grashi, WBZ News.